Hey everyone, got the four and a half horsepower United set up here, and I figured it was time to give it a go. It's a little cold out, so I don't know if that'll hamper it starting, but I filled the gas tank up almost completely full with gas, and uh, I don't see any leaks in the fuel line. I didn't put the grease cups on the mains yet, but I did grease them with one grease cup that I put from one main to the other. Got my oiler installed and I have a temporary battery and coil set up. So I don't know what's going to happen. I uh, got the governor springs and everything set up as close to what I think they should be. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. There's a little gas primer valve there to fill up the bowl of the mixer. I'm going to open this, I don't know, three quarters of a time. something. I made that little improvised choke. I don't know if that's going to help me out at all. Well, I don't think she wants to go, but I think if I raise up the fuel tank a little bit, give, give it a little bit more head, 
to uh, a little bit more more pressure to open that horizontal check valve. Because right now the bottom of the tank is just about level with with all the fuel lines, with the check valve and everything. So let's let's lift it up. All right. Well, I raised up the gas tank about another inch and a half um, with a two by four. So let's see if we get any luck. Of course, those of, you who, those of you who don't know, there is a decompression valve, decompression valve on the back. That's where all the hissing noise is. All right, so I already primed the mixer. I'm gonna give that a turn and a half. That seems about universal. Choke off. Maybe that's giving it too much fuel. Give it a turn. The uh, inclination is to always give it plenty of fuel, but. Two hits out of it. I think I've run it too rich. I could hear gas gurgling through the rings. strokes anyway. Let's give that a turn. Let's try that again. Oh, this is 
no water in it. My head's still full. Well, that took two years, I think. Here's the auction tag, 175 bucks. April 27th, 2013 is when I purchased the gray engine, I didn't know it was the United at the time. That runs like a clock. this to be the first four and a half United on YouTube, but a couple other people beat me to it. There's plenty of two horses and two and three quarter and six horse, but uh, no four and three quarter, or uh, four and a half rather. Well, there is now. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down. Well, there you have it. Disconnect the igniter. Well, can't really express how happy I am. This is pretty exciting. But finally got it to run. So Next step, uh, pretty much wait till spring, till it's warm out. I'm going to wash everything, and my girlfriend volunteered to do the pinstriping on. I'm going to do some pinstriping on the hopper and the flywheels. Uh, and I got to paint stuff like the head bolts or head, uh, head nuts and some other miscellaneous stuff. Give it a coat of clear. And I also need to repaint the cart because I got some paint dust on it. 
not dust, but you know, from when I was spraying the rest of the engine, some some of the spray paint particles got on the black paint. But uh, that's about it, guys. It's been quite the adventure. It's not over yet, but it's running, man. It's running sweet. So I'm excited. So thanks for watching, and uh, you know, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and check out my other videos of this engine or whatever else if you're interested. Maybe be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and uh, come back for more.